What's going on everybody and welcome back uh, to the channel now today We've got the man the best food review channel I'm not saying that he is the best food review channel. I think that's just his channel name, but exotic Indian <laughs> street food tour in Mumbai, India. I didn't expect this now the thumbnail is a picture of a bunch of brains and I was like what in the God forsaken Lord is this so I'm like, well, if I see a picture of brains and he's eating it, I really just have to check this out and understand really what's going on. Um, and it has like 15 million views. So I was like, it must be something pretty disgusting. So hey, if you guys are new, subscribe. Check it out. Starting off in Mumbai. Today on the best Beautiful Mumbai. Show, we are going on another fun food Ooh, adventure and we are trying out. Hold on, I gotta turn this shit up. Um, there we go. He's in a tuk tuk. Love Some it. of the most exotic food that we can find here in Mumbai, India. Foods that a little boy hey. from central Minnesota might have found to be a bit unusual in the past. That's a goat heart? That's smaller than I would have thought for a goat heart. And the brain what is bigger the? than I would have Oh, what the fuck are we watching? Would have thought. There's no doubt that yes. India is full of mind-bendingly delicious, tasty treats. <laughs> but in these next two videos, I've searched Mumbai and Delhi. Whoa, 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 Whoa! Whoa, what the hell? Next two videos, I've... Bro, it's on fire! <laughs> Sir... No! Okay, well, this just looks wrong. Mumbai and Delhi this to find some of the most unique food what in this fuck? country. Whether it's buffalo milk I helped get myself... Oh Is this one broken? ...or this dangerous flaming pun. Ah! Uh, uh, I'm determined to prove bro. that one man's weird is another man's delicious. Apple milk. Oh my, what the... F when I came to India, so many people from India were like, sorry, man, no weird food here. I think I found a couple of special things. I'm not going to say they're weird, but they're extra special. I have never tried what? buffalo milk, let alone chick milk, a special name given to the nutrient-dense milk produced immediately after a buffalo has given birth. Also, what? this place housing 375 buffaloes is not exactly in the countryside. <laughs> These buffalo are in the middle of the city. Here's a giant buffalo, oh. and here's an apartment. Next to apartment buildings, right next to a main highway, yeah. right here in the middle Look of the, the city. Traffic. We're told I have to be quiet, so we're gonna be with our buffalo voices. There's a guy milking him, so they're milking the buffalo, but they're doing it by hand. Man, that's gotta be such a relief to get all that milk out. She looks very- Hey, I mean, last pause of the video, but I've actually milked cows, like, with my hand before, like, when I was younger. You can do it, like, my parents used to take me and my and my brother to this this place around where I live, some park, and you and they allow you to milk the cows with your hands and shit. I was like six, seven years old, but great fun. Right <laughs> I don't now. know. Look at, look at that face. Can't oh, believe don't I did be that. Shy now. Come on, the buffalo. They're feeding. They're eating, and then they're a little bit curious too, because maybe they've never been on a YouTube show. So right now we're going to milk the buffalo and. Um, I told them that I knew how. You just gotta fucking grab it. Okay, I have no idea what's happening, Good luck. but this is great. You just, yeah, sure. you just... Oh, that's good. He has a lot of milk. Oh, that seems wrong. Yes. Did you see? There was a little bit of milk. Maybe I need Vaseline. Do you guys have Vaseline? Oh, it's got a dick man. Whoa! Oh, I thought one of these nipples oh. was broken. Oh. It's just me. What mm -hmm. the hell? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, don't embarrass yourself, Sonny. I'm trying to be like. There you gentle. go. Oh, this buffalo funny. likes it a little bit rough. I think they brought me to a you dry. You gotta do it harder. What is happening? This is like the most bizarre field trip said. I've ever been on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this? No. No. Whoa. Boys, boys. Milk it. Boys. 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 <laughs> Oh, I don't think I should milk this one because it has a, a penis. Oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah, you might get a different kind of milk out of that one. Can I drink some milk? <laughs> one, one liter. One liter of milk. That's no. absolutely going to give me gas. Ah. Instead of trying the plain buffalo milk, I've been told to wait for the rare chick milk from a mother who had just given birth that morning. That but first, I'm heading into Gashwala for a dessert made from the same kind of milk. Really? 
So we are inside the Fresh Dairy Store. And the first thing I spotted here was they have some special ghee. Now ghee is like the clarified butter. And this isn't cow ghee. Most of the ghee here in India is from cows. They have sheep ghee and they have goat ghee. We also have, bam, fresh camel milk. We're not gonna try it today because it's uh, frozen solid. They prepared a dessert that we're gonna try right now. Hey, that looks good. From that special buffalo chick or chick milk, they've made this dessert. Here we have the plain version, just straight up white, and then this yellow one is made with saffron. This is supposed to be super nutrient dense, healthy. I mean, after this, I can lift a car or maybe at least a buffalo. Let's try it out. It's like cheesecake. That's really good. Oh, it's very mild flavor. Creamy, okay. cross between like cream cheese, yogurt, cheese, and cold milk. If you combine all those things, that's what it tastes like. No buffalo-iness at all. You like this one? Yeah. So let's try the bite with the saffron. Mmm, it kind of changes the texture somehow. A little less creamy, almost crumbly now, but very dense, thick. And it, you know, it's just a nice refreshing treat. Who knew? That's up there on the unique scale. Normally patrons come here to grab milk by hey. the bag, but a bag of chick milk costs three times the standard variety. And right what? now the owner- Why is it, why is that type of milk so much of this more? stable has invited me for a warm, frothy cup. Hey, There's a baby calf and the mother. We're gonna go try that milk now. We will take the milk from Aww. this buffalo. It was a pregnant in the morning. Now we had given the kid uh, that uh, baby. Aww. Today? Yeah, yeah, today morning Whoa. we had given the, the baby. And this baby, after three hours or after four hours, this baby will run it. So the baby gets some milk. Ah, uh, yeah. And we get some milk. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, see, I thought we were like taking away the baby's milk, but everyone gets milk. Okay, Kappa. first time he will having oh, the milk stand. right now. Now he's trying to help him oh, out. It is a, it is it's a, nice. milk has a 99% calcium. Hey. Whoa. Yeah. That sounds almost dangerous. Oh, it's very nice. This milk just very came nice. right from the teat. It's very frothy up yeah. top. It's it's creamy. It's body temperature, very warm. Ah, warm. And you just you just take it down. Yeah, and it is has a it is a free from a bacteria. How do you say cheers? Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Okay. <laughs> it's got fucking froth. You like there's some different taste over there. It is somewhat Tell me it's salty good. and like that. Tell me it's yeah. good. It's just, it's salty. Ooh, that is unique. Creamy, salty, fatty. Wow. Well, thank you, sir. That's thank you. A very special experience. Mm, yeah, it's Cheers. Good. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? Next up, we're headed to the suburbs oh. for a local snack that's prepared and eaten in a very unique style. We're in this residential area here in Mumbai, and just on the street corner, these guys pop up out of nowhere. Got to make kiss and bonnie here. And then immediately, people who knew the stand started coming up and ordering some food. What yeah, is special good. about this place? That pani puri is very tasty. How many do you usually eat? 10 to 15 pani uh -huh. 10 to 15. My kind of snack. I like that. Do they usually just give you one by one? Yes. yes. Oh, so it's like super fresh. So this is like an assembly line that ends at your mouth. The pani puri here starts with a round wheat crisp that's stuffed with some beans, mm. then dipped in a sweet lentil tamarind sauce. Yeah. And finally, it's completely submerged in this green green flavored water. They give you yeah. a dish and they just serve you one at a time. It, they create this assembly line yeah, and then while you're chewing, they're creating the next one. Let's try it out. Looks good. Mmm. Oh, soup me up. Knock them, let's knock them out. Not that is sweet. so delicious. Mmm, it's perfect, perfect. Mm. Oh no, this is dangerous. Like whatever they put in here, I'm eating it. Oh. Okay, thank what you. Is, really? What if I put something bad in there? <laughs> it is like Indian chips and salsa. Now, give me a second to explain. The they have salsa. so many flavors I'm used to from something like a Mexican food with the beans inside, cilantro, the spiciness. So it almost tastes like a corn chip full of pico de gallo, bean, and some spicy, like soupy salsa, the kind you get for free at a Mexican restaurant. And then a little bit of sweetness from some tamarind sauce and together it's just so amazing. Bro, I'm so hungry. Mm. Damn, how many Okay, you I, seriously, eat? I've had like eight or nine already. <laughs> last one, last one. As a bonus item, they're whipping up some sev puti, starting with flat wheat crisps, oh. potato, onion, oh. cilantro, oh. spicy chutney, tamarind sauce, cilantro oh again, my. chickpea flour shavings, known as sev, plenty of that, more tamarind sauce, cilantro, and it's topped with some fresh lemon. And some Bro, something like this is right up my alley. This is something that I could eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm, I always watch these videos and get quite Lemon. hungry. Yes. 
Thank you. Oh, it's like heavy. And look, I can't help but to compare it to Mexican food because that's kind of my basis okay, of knowledge. And I'm, I'm very new to Indian food. I'm learning a lot about that's it. This feels deal. like some kind of nachos without the cheese. So we've got the chips on the bottom Damn, and it's good. just stacked with toppings. There's Holy a potato, there's a chutney, there's everything. Okay, I'll stop talking. Here we go. From so, that was so good. This is my new favorite thing ever. Oh, I'm gonna get so fat here. It is like perfect yeah, balance. For real. You know, a lot of the food I've had here so far has been fairly heavy, but this with like the nice fresh herbs, bean, with the very fresh sauces, the onion, Gross. which is very light, very fresh, full of flavor. It's salty, it's spicy, it's sweet all at the same time. It's perfection. Oh, I and love the worst it. thing is, Every time I watch these videos, I go into my cupboard straight after the video and I'm like, all right, what can I eat that is something like this? Absolutely nothing. There is nothing that like this in my bloody cupboard. So I end up eating nothing. I don't recommend doing double chilies. I'm dying over here. We I are continuing our journey, chili, finding the that. most like, exotic and interesting foods here in Mumbai, India. And right here, we have a food stall serving what is essentially the Indian hamburger. You can see there is a line of auto rickshaws parked outside, so you know it's good. There's a bunch of local people here eating. This is like a real workman's lunch, so let's go check it out. Woo! And here we are. This is called Vada Pav, but some call it the Bombay Burger. A bun stuffed with a large fried potato yeah, dumpling, flavored with Where a chutney and served with some fresh chilies. This particular stand lets patrons mix and match the inner workings of their burger. One dude got theirs loaded with potato oh chips. Another guy slammed a whole samosa in oh. there, so don't be afraid to get creative. Just putting on some of this freshly fried potato ball and then that can go inside of the Bro. bread inside the sandwich this is like a fried spinach fritter and you can yeah. mix and match a couple other things too here for dessert they have the jelly bean so right here he's just fried a load of hot chilies putting some salt on top that looks intense so you eat the sandwich and you eat the chili together today my vada pop starts with bread that's sliced and doused with chutney and their own secret masala. Then a big old fried potato dumpling, then a newspaper so I have something to read, also some spinach fritters, potato chips, and chilies on the side. All this for 20 rupees or about th All of that cost you 30 cents. Well, three, three cents, well, 30 cents a cent. I'm telling you right now, in Australia, this is costing you $8 plus. Like, this is, like, in a, and in a fancy restaurant, this is probably costing you $10, $12 plus. And that's not even a joke. 30 cents. 30 cents, bro. I'm going, to, if, when I come to India, I'm going to be quite fat. Like, that's just as straight as it is. Like, shit. 30 cents. I don't it's almost like the bread is just a holder. So you can hold it without burning your mouth. I forgot about this. Yeah. Oh. Chili. This You're supposed you. to be supplementing the flavor with the chili. So you take a bite of this. Oh, shit. Is that the spinach thing? You take a bite of this. Oh, no. Chili, yeah. they, yeah. <laughs> Not hot. Not hot. Wait a, okay, a little hot. And these chilies, when they fry them, it brings out this great, like, sweet taste. It's so different from a raw chili. We've got the potato inside the bread with the chutney. Let's try it out. That looks good. See, that looks like, I love, like, burgers. Mm. That is a hearty sandwich. Crispy, salty, a Ooh. bunch of turmeric flavor coming through. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. What, double? Double chili? Oh, hell no. Oh, uh, they're setting him up. <laughs> this guy set him up. He's like, no one else here would do two chilies. Let's just get the foreigner. <laughs> All right, double chili. That's good. The chilies, you have to have it with the chilies. Let's Yummy. Yummy. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to lie. The inside of my mouth is on fire and I want to die. But otherwise, it's really good. No, I'm okay. I'm not, it's not spicy. It's a little spicy. Very nice. Let's find some dessert. And for dessert, I'm heading back to Muhammad Ali Road. This road Muhammad is Ali. famous for its huge variety of street food, especially heavy non-veg delights. On. My buddy Come Azar on. leads the way as we order up some beja fry, containing some special ingredients. Um, these are not testicles, right? No, not at all. That's kidney. Okay. That's liver. That's brain. I yeah. That's heart. What are animals oh. this from? Goat. All are goats. This is all the goat yeah. organ section that we found. What kind of so they make oh with the brain. It's called beja fry. So they'll chop that brain, 
They'll put a lot of spices, garlic paste and stuff, right. a little vegetables, onion, tomato. Put it on the pan, store it with a lot of oil. You want one of those? Yeah, let's get one of those. Let's, let's... And then maybe the kidney. All right. I've never had a goat kidney, not yet, anyways. Let's try it now. In Mumbai, Mumbai is particularly in this part of Mumbai, it's very common. When you eat the brain, like what do you like about the brain? The texture, you know, it's a very soft, smooth, gooey kind of a texture. Yeah. That you find when you eat this brain. Okay, perfect. So let's get some brain. And let's, and let's get some kidney. Right. Comment right now if you've ever had a brain. I don't know if I could get the courage to eat a brain. He puts on some oil. Like a kidney, but a brain. And then Kidney on one like side, brain on one side. Garlic paste, cumin seeds, tomatoes, red chili powder, coriander powder. And so is he gonna mix the brain and the kidney? No, no, no. On one side he's gonna cook the brain, on the other side he's gonna cook the... Okay, good. I, don't, I really don't like mixing my brain and kidney. I'm just kind of picky like that. We ordered like six of these kidneys and they really do yeah. cook down to nothing. Yeah. That was six of those big guys. Now it's just down to that. After like our beja fry is fried, our main courses are served with an assortment of breads. You know, brain is a little bit unusual for some Western people. Is that? Yeah. And uh, it's just because they're not used to eating it. But the brain is really just kind of fatty. I want to start with yeah. that. See, now that it's all cooked up and it's got sauce, like it just looks like chicken. Yeah. Okay. Try with this. Yeah. And then you just put it in there? I make like a sloppy joe? No. Oh. Not idly, that's not the way. Okay. Bro, what no is problem. A sloppy that's joe? the way. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of this brain. There we go. There's an assist. Okay, and then right there, we've got some of the brain, some of the bread all together. So you've had this before? Plenty of time. Here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cheers, my friend. See. Is that your first time ever? No, I had goat brain one other time. What's brain in it? That is a goat brain? Yeah. Did this goat do meth? But it's my first time yeah. having goat what? brain like this. And with these kind of Indian flavors. And then the brain is just really fatty and soft. Yeah. Super salty. Mm. So rich. Let's try some kidney. It's a cheat day. It's a special day. That was mm. good. I can't even That's good. That's good. That's even better. It just has a nice organy feel. It's a little chewy. Yeah, I like that chewiness. Good texture. This place is cooking up a ton of these different sauteed organ dishes. And then you can scoop it up. We don't need no forks or spoons. You just choose what kind of bread you want to scoop it up with. Exactly. Hey, besties. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. Hey, Next week, we'll go deep into Delhi, India, hunting down some more exotic treats, including a noodle ice cream, plus see if I survive my bout with the infamous flaming pot. Oh, oh I want to save oh. it. I want to say that. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video was made possible by one trip. No. No free. You guys know how sponsors work on this channel. No free shout outs unless they're sponsoring us. And I've never had a sponsor on the channel. So uh, no free shout outs ever, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, I want to go and watch this video. I might actually find this video down and put it in my recommended so I can watch this another time. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. Shout out to the man Sonny side. Um, hopefully that's his name. Alright, him just so enough that up. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't feel comfortable leaving it on that sort of frame. Alright, that'll do. Hey, that is gonna cap it off. Yeah, it felt morally wrong watching someone eat brain and kidney. Oh well, what can you do about it? It looks pretty good though, doesn't it? But <laughs> that's gonna cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.